Commander's Log, Stardate 48467.3. Galdicott and I have arrived on Cardassia Prime. I am about to do something which goes against 20 years of Starfleet training. Help an enemy hunt down one of our own ships. This is where I'll be conducting the search for the Defiant. From this room, I can control every Cardassian ship, outpost, and space station anywhere in our... Ah, uh, Commander, allow me to introduce Coronus, our observer from the Obsidian Order. Commander Sisko. Coronus? Welcome to Cardassia Prime, Commander. Thank you. Excuse me. Secure that console while the human is here. Anything else classified level four or above should also be secured. I'm sure you can understand that although we all respect Gold Dukat's decision to bring you here, we must take some precautions. Of course, I would have done the same. But then, I would have been more discreet. Since you are here to provide technical expertise on the Defiant, I suggest you begin by briefing us on the ship's defensive capabilities. Please, describe for us in detail the weapon systems of the Defiant, beginning with the ship's phaser array Before and then... we discuss weaponry, there is a more urgent matter that I think you should be aware of. The Defiant is equipped with a cloaking device. I wondered if you were going to share that little detail with us. You knew about this? The Obsidian Order has known for some time about the loan of a cloaking device from the Romulans to the Federation. And the Order chose not to share this intelligence with the Central Command? Until now, the Order had not considered this one cloak to be a threat against Cardassia. <laughs> Under our terms of agreement with the Romulans, the cloaking device was to be used only in the Gamma Quadrant, and then only in exchange for all our intelligence reports on the Dominion. Well, your Lieutenant Riker isn't likely to respect that agreement with the Romulans, and there's no way to locate a ship under cloak. There is one possibility. The Dominion managed to penetrate the cloak by using some kind of anti-proton beam. Can you give us the specifications of that beam? Not precisely, but I can give you everything we've learned from our sensor logs. It'll give you a chance to find the Defiant before she attacks. There is a perimeter alert in the Amatha sector. Put it on the main viewer. Who's commanding the outpost nearest that ship? Gull Torn of the Sixth Order. And he's identified the vessel. It's the Defiant. Order all warships in that sector to converge on the Defiant. Something's wrong. Why wouldn't they be cloaked? Can you show me the sensor information on the Defiant? The Defiant is attacking Outpost 61. Tell Galtarin that he has permission to pursue the Defiant into the demilitarized zone. No, don't pull your ships off the border. Commander, you don't expect me to break off pursuit of the Defiant simply because the treaty. That's not the Defiant. It's a decoy. They're trying to draw your patrol ships out of position. That ship's sending out a fake warp signature identical to the Defiant's. But the phase variants and subspace harmonics don't match. Order Torin to break off pursuit. Have him redeploy. Sir, us. another perimeter alert. Outpost 47 has detected a cloaked ship with their anti proton beam. Tell Torin to head for Outpost 47. The Defiant has decloaked and has begun to attack the outpost. We've lost contact with Outpost 47. Incoming message from Gull Torin. The Defiant has recloaked and its last known heading was 148 Mark 215. It's headed directly into the heart of Cardassian territory. Commander Sisko, you should be commended. I only wish we had someone with such keen tactical instincts who could have prevented this invasion of our territory. <laughs>